so I just showed you guys this amazingly beautiful skein of 20 gram mini skein from Legacy Fiber Arts, which was in their um, Christmas or holiday advent calendar that I purchased from them. And I haven't opened any of their, the packages yet, and they're so cutely packaged. So I haven't opened any of them. And I was looking for which mini skein I wanted to use for my first ornament that I want to make. And I'm quite sure I'm going to use this. I'm going to make a bunny nugget for my first one. And I opened this one. And then I was just like, I need to open every single one of these packages so I can feel and see the yarn for myself. So. I kind of have it in my mind that I'm going to be using these for the majority of my ornaments for our ornament, our year of ornaments, which I'm hosting with Maker's Haven, who her name is Amber. If you haven't checked out her podcast, definitely go ahead and do it. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, so we're doing a year of ornaments and I think this will be the first ornament that I do. I don't know. I am going crazy digging into every single one of these. I've decided while looking through all of my things in here that I'm going to keep all of my really special Legacy Fiber Arts mini skeins inside of a box and then I have another really sweet little box um, that I received from Shauna of Adelaide Cottage where I'm going to keep all of my ornaments so this box is I think really really beautiful and um, I think it's perfect for putting all of my ornaments in this is the box where I'll be keeping my ornaments in and then inside of the box I already wound up two little cakes. This one I'm going to use for a bunny nugget and this one I'm going to use for one of those wee little cat ornaments. I thought that the orange and the yellow with the little speckles of black would be really sweet. And then these four are some other ones that I think I will use pretty quickly. I haven't decided if I want to cake them up already so that when I want to make something I can use them. But then I also think that we change our minds so easily and so quickly that I think it's also pretty likely that if I cake up all of these that I will want to use something else the next time. So I'm definitely set on the bunny nugget which I'm going to cast on now. It's pretty late. I, it's almost 11 o'clock in the evening. Robert's in the bath and... I definitely know that that is the yarn I want to use for the wee kitten. I have already looked through all the mini skeins and I think that one is the perfect yarn for it. Um, I think after I knit the wee kitten or the wee cat, I'm not sure of the exact name, I will just make a teeny tiny little Christmas sock and I don't know where I'll go from there.
Ruby has had a really, really bad eye infection for about a week now. And um, we've taken her to the doctors and she got some homeopathic medication. But her eye infection just got really bad. So we ended up having to take her to the hospital because there's no doctor's office open on the weekend. And because I don't want to get an eye infection, I've been having to give her, you know, drops and things in her eyes. I have been washing my hands I feel like every 10 minutes because I'm playing with her and doing things with her and obviously putting eye cream in her eye and it's just inevitable that I'm touching her hands all the time. So I've been washing my hands all the time, which means that they're very, very dry in between the fingers. I don't know if you can see how dry and red and chapped they are. Both of my hands are like that. So I have been obsessively using this hard lotion bar that my parents got me for Christmas. Love it, it smells amazing. So right now I am just kind of sitting at the table, relaxing, um, drinking a nice cup of coffee, and eating some little Smarties. <laughs> They're really nice, they melt in your mouth with the coffee. And I'm knitting on our new Family Secrets colorway, which I'm so obsessed with. I think it's just such a really, really pretty colorway. And this is on Gold Stellina. I think today I'm going to dye 40 skeins of this because I just think it's really, really pretty and I want everyone who wants it to get a skein of it because I'm, I'm seriously obsessed. It's one of my favorite colorways that I've ever dyed and it just knits so pretty, in my opinion. So this is the way that the cake looks. It's a little bit messy. I just have a cheap Amazon, I don't even know what the brand is, um, skein winder, and I love it. It's definitely a colorway that takes a long time to dye. It requires a lot more coats, a lot more layers. It's way more complicated than a lot of my other colorways, which I think is why I will just do a huge, huge um, batch of it tonight and do about 40 skeins. Just because, like I said, it's so complicated. I'm going to knit a pair of socks on this. I just got a new pair of nine inch circulars. Let me show those to you guys. So I got the Haya Hayas and I probably knit almost this entire cuff on the nine inch circulars and hated it, hated it. So I just maybe two rows ago put it on the double points and I think I'm going to try and transfer back to the nine inch circulars after I finish the ribbing. I, I just can't do the ribbing on the nine inch circulars. I don't know why, I'm sure it takes a while, but it is slowing me down so much. so excited that it's snowing for the last oh my goodness how, how long have I lived here now eight years I think that I've lived in Berlin we've only had one year that we had a really good snow like this and um, it was the year that Elodie was born so Having the snow fall down like this feels like such an amazing surprise. It's so magical, I guess. It's something that we don't see so often, so it feels really special.